Hey man, we out here for our people, man. We are the battle axes of the most high. Won a lot of battles, but there's more in store. If you're gonna be a soldier, know what you're fighting for. We the battle like this, y'all's weapons of war. We won a lot of battles, but there's more in store. If you're gonna be a soldier, know what you're fighting for. We the battle like this, y'all's weapons of war. That's right. That's the judgment for shaving your beard, that's for right, shaving man. your mane, brother. That's for we lions, brother. That's, that's right. your crown of glory, man. That's right. Yeah. That's the judgment for that thing. And that's a simple commandment that you can do. Ain't it easy not to shave your beard again? Next time we see you, what should we see? I say it with face. A beard on your face, brother. Yeah, Read this up. This the book of Numbers, chapter 15, verse 38. Bring it out. Oh, speak oh. unto the children of Israel. See, this Bible is talking about speaking to the children of Israel. That's right. It say speak unto the African American. Speak unto the man black. Speak unto the Negro. No, the Bible is talking to the Israelites, brother. That's right. Read on. And beat them. And what? And beat them. them. And read up. And they make them fringes in the border of their garments. It says fringes in the border of their garments. These are what you call fringes, brother. This is royal apparel. That's right. For the Most High God's children, man. That's right. This is the Most High God passing down his heritage to us That's and right. to no other nation of people, man. That's right. Right. This is who you are. Yes, Give me Genesis chapter 20, 32, verse 28. Because we're going to show you what the word Israel means, man. That's right. It means you are a prince on this planet Earth, man. That's right. You are a king, brother. That's right. Only when you're keeping the commandments, though. That's right. Give me that in Psalms. We are God. Read this out. Say it again. Hey, got I'm a real bummer, man. Those are the main big team, but it's I'm other all right, yeah. too. Because words thou shalt not rape in the Ten Commandments. Put it over a little bit over this place. That's not in the Ten Commandments, thou shalt not rape. That's not in the Ten Commandments. But it is a part of the whole 613 law. Because when you rape a sister, that falls up under the category of murder. You are murdering your sister. I've been looking. That's right. Read this up. This is the book of Genesis. Chapter 32, verse 28. Oh, and he said, Thy name shall be called no more Jacob. Thy name shall be called no more Jacob. This is our forefathers. These are the people that you should be learning about, brother. Read on up. But Israel. But who? But Israel. No African American. But Israel. No black American. But Israel. Read up. For as a prince has to have power. With God. That's what the name Israel means, brother. You are a prince that has power with the Most High God. That's right. Only when you're keeping the commandments, brother, can you obtain that power, man. Why are you going to be able to teach Paul and with power out here, man? Bring this up. It's a book, a song, chapter 82, in verse 6. Bring it up. I am saying, ye are God. Ye are what? Ye are God. Ye are what? You are God. The Most High God not only called you a prince and a king, but he called you a God, brother. That's right. Read on up. And all of you are children of the Most High. And all of the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the children of the Most High God. Everybody is not a child of God, brother, like how we've been taught in Christianity. That's right. Read on up. Verse 7. But ye shall die like men and fall like one of the priests. So if God called us a God, why are we going to fall? How do we fall, brother? That's a good question. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Read this, huh? It's a book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. Bring it out. But it shall come to pass. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. See, the Bible is the voice of God. Hold on, I want you to listen to this. This is showing you why we fail. Read on. Voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all his commandments. No, some of them. All, all his commandments. All 613. Read on. And his statutes, which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that all these curses. That all these what? That, that all these curses. Like the black crown. That all these curses. Police brutality. That all these curses. Read on. Shall come upon thee and overtake him. So God said for breaking his commandments. He put curses on us, bro. That's why, guess what? We the first right. fire last hour. That's why they put us in the ghettos and in the slums. That's why we play with police brutality. That's why houses are out of order. Wives are out of order. Churches are out of order because we're not keeping the commandments of God, bro. Do you understand that? Take this with you, man. We usually have some. Come back with us, man. 
So we can get you one, man. How about coming to the building, to the school, so you can get one and get learning out of that Bible, man? No, we don't have one. Oh, no, this is the far. This is our far right here. Call us, man. Our names are on here. Reach out to us, brother. Yeah, yeah, damn, Miles, man. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come save my own Bible, quick, man. He don't know you, man. You don't know me? Huh? I know about that. I'll get you one, brother. We want you to come among us. First, the Bible said, guess what? Help not accept. Not in situations like that, but guess what? We are helping you out and giving you a Bible and giving what you need. Get that brother hand, man. Who gave you a Bible, man? Right there, brother, man. We want you to put it to good use, though, brother. That's the whole point, man. That's what we out here for, man. Don't just take that and not read it. Take that thing and read it, man. Give me Revelation 1 and 3, man. Yeah, I just had it Hey, use it though, man. Love you too, brother. Revelation 1 and 3. Read this. Uh, this is the book of Revelation. Chapter 1, verse 3. Read that again. Read it. Read that again. Read that again. Read that again. The Bible commands us to read. The Bible says, blessed is he that read it. Read on up. And they that hear the words of this prophecy. And they that hear the words of this prophecy. Read on up. And keep those things which are written therein. And keep those things that are written therein. Read on up. For the time is at hand. Read that again. For the time is at hand. Read that again. For the time is at hand. Hey, guess what, man? The time is at hand, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. The time is at hand that you wake up and repent. Right. Come back to your nationality, man. That's right. Come back to who you really are. Right. Come back to these laws, statutes, and commandments. Read this, huh? Sarah's name's book of Romans, chapter 11, chapter 13, and verse 11. And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. Read that again, huh? And that knowing the time. That now it is high time man, to awake out of sleep. See, the most high God is calling us to awake out of sleep. It's high time, you so-called Negro, Latino, and Native Americans, which are the Israelites, to wake up out of sleep. It's high time for that, man. That's right. Because the most high God is coming back for vision. Y'all think Christ is coming back to play games. He ain't coming back to play no games at all. That's right. What do you believe in the Bible? Let's deal with us, brother. Y'all can come through here. Brother, you believe in the Bible, brother? I'll pray. Do you do the things that's in the Bible? Guess what? You try. How many commandments are there, brother? It's more than just 10. Let me give you one. Over 613. That's right. Huh. Good. Thank you, brother. That's what we want her. Give me Numbers chapter 15, verse 38. Bring it out. This is the book of Numbers. Chapter 15, verse 38. Bring it out. Speak unto the children of Israel uh -huh. and bid them that they make them bridges in the borders of their borders uh -huh. throughout their generations. Throughout, throughout their, their generations. generations. This is a commandment for our peril. I'm going to give you another. Give me Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Let's see. It says, speak unto the children of Israel, bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments throughout their generation. So when we look upon these things, brother, we can remember all the commandments of God and do them. I'm going to give you one for your wife. Is this your wife, brother? That's my wife. All praise, read this, huh? This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, verse 5. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The woman shall not wear, and what you take to men. What are the clothing do women wear that pertain to men, brother? So when you go to a restroom, when a woman goes to a restroom, one has what on and the other has a what on, sis. Thank you. So the Bible says, read this again, brother. Right from the top. The woman shall not wear. That was potato to a man. It says the woman shall not. When you see thou shalt and thou shalt not, those are commandments. That's right. right. Read on. Right. Man shall a man put on a woman's garment. What's a woman's garment, brother? That's right. So when a brother have a dress on, what type of spirit do they put on? So when a woman put on pants, what type of spirit does that put on them? That's right. It puts a masculine spirit on. So guess what? God has a dress code in the Bible, brother. That's right. another freak is hot. It's a book of verse 10. Chapter 2 and verse 9. Bring it out. In like manner also, 
that women are doing themselves in modest apparel. What is modest apparel for a woman? That's right, brother. That's right. Because guess what? Her body is only for your eyes only. That's right. That's right. That's guess right. what? That's teaching sisters respect and accountability. That's right. Gotta carry themselves like young women of the Lord. That's See, we talk about the Lord, but you actually say these brothers actually do that. That's right. They actually live by what the Bible say. Because I'm asking, you, what's your name, brother? Alan, man. I'm Captain Bitter Knight. Uh, Where in the Bible do it tell you to put a cross around your neck? So why do we do it? I don't know. Traditions of men, Drag brother. Him out. But how him much out. do you love God? Do you love your God to take that thing off? Let's see. Hold up. Let me see if the scripture convicted. Give me a better two and eighteen. Bring hey, bro. Hey, I like the spirit, bro. I like the spirit. But let's see if you about that action. Preach it. All right. This is the book of Rebecca. Chapter 2, verse 18. Oh, 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 oh. The grave in image. Read that again. Huh? What what profit is the grave in image. The Bible is asking you what profit is the grave in image. Read on. That the maker thereof has graven uh -huh. the molten image. The molten image. Read on. And a teacher of love. A what? A, a teacher, teacher of love. What is that uh, cross around his neck? A, a teacher, teacher of love. Because they put that up as a so-called white man, but the Bible right. describes Christ as a black man. That's right. The Bible says that guess what? Teacher, Not to do that. But it says that's a molten image. That's right. Hey, it don't matter. It's, it's, it's people's wrong. That's right. So what, but what this is image, this, this image is describing what man? A so-called Caucasian man. That's right. It's not describing the Christ of the Bible. And where in the Bible did Christ tell you to wear a cross in remembrance of him? That's right, brother. That's right. So if ain't in the Bible, guess what? Don't do it. That's, That's why the Bible right. say we are to obey God rather than men, brother. Right. The Bible is giving us the instructions. We just got to follow them. That's Let right. me show you. Give me Deuteronomy 7 and 25. Because let me see if you're able to take that thing out and do as the scriptures say. Read this out. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 25. Right the great images of their gods. Of their who? Of their gods. Of their gods. Because guess what? That's not the Christ of the Bible. Jesus. That's the price of the so-called white man, man. Yeah. Read on. Shall D, burn with fire. Read that again. Huh? Shall D, burn with fire. It says the framing images of their God shall you burn with fire. So are you able to take that off right now? Take it off, man. All praise. Now get it from the hand, man. All praise. Because we got to come up out of idolatry, man. That's what these things are. Because our people bow down to these things. You won't see that. You do know Christ is black, right? Bring it up. What's right? Bring it up. What's scripture? Bring it up. Oh, I'll pray that's brown. But let's see how brown was Read this. That's right. Book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 4. Hold up. We know you got to go. But this is, this is, y'all are eating, sis. Y'all eating the word of the Lord right. God. That's, that's right. right. Hold up. Y'all see, do y'all do it? Do y'all perform the actions? That's right. Hold up. I want you to listen to this right quick. Read this. Hold up. Hold up. You know I'm going to put you to the... Hey, one more chapter. Hold up, because... Give me one more. We got to stand up in our household, because guess what? That's right. Bring it out. Read this. He's a book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 14. Bring it out. His head and his hair were white like wool. White in color and woolly in texture. What race of people got woolly texture hair? That's right, so-called Negroes and Latinos. Read on. As white as snow, uh -huh. and his eyes were as a flame of fire. Because Christ to wine in moderation. Read on. Verse 15. And his feet. And his what? And his feet. And his what? And, and his feet. Read on. Like unto fine grass, as if they burn in a furnace. So if you put grass in a furnace and burn it, what color does it come out? It comes out. Well, I want to hear you say it. That's right. Black, brother. Black. Read this right quick. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 4, verse 4. Bring it out. But he answered and said, It is written. It is what? It, it is, is written. Read out. Huh? Men shall not live by bread alone. Hey, man and woman can't live by bread alone, meaning right. physical food. Read right. Right. But by every word. But by what? By, by every, every word. word. But by what? By, by every, every word. word. Read up. Huh? proceeded out of the mouth of God. But that's right. what you got to be eating this Bible, brother. That's right. This is the real right. spiritual food that you need, brother. That's right. Hey, I'm hoping you learned something. Yeah, that brother fun. Use the numbers. Call us, man. Hey, sis, we want to see you in a long body dress next time. That's right. So wherever is it, your husband. I had on a dress, but it's hot. Look, sister, what could be more cooler than a dress, sis? Sister, what put on a white dress? 
Come on. We don't want to make excuses. Give me some rock chapter 32, verse 17. Bring it out. Yeah, we want to compel you to come back. We want you to compel you to come back. See, this is what we want. We want to provoke her to good works. I don't make it. So next time we see you, what should you always have packed? Okay. Nothing but dresses. That's right. That's right. Dresses. Hold up. Let me ask you right quick, sis. Right if you don't mind, hold up, hold up. Could you wear a dress every day like the Bible commands you? Well, I work in the medical field. I can't. I gotta wear skirts. Sister, we got sisters that are nurses. I know, bro. They wear, no they wear dresses no, every wear, day, sis. That's right. I'm not wearing no Sister, a long, modest dress, sis, down to the ankle. Because guess what? You are referencing your husband. Yes, we have sisters that are nurses, sis. And they wear a long, modest dress to work. See, our people love to make excuses. No, it's not excuses. It's a question. So you can't call everything an excuse. You got to be willing to have a conversation. Yeah, we are. If I ask you a question, you give me some knowledge, right? Don't call it an excuse. But I just gave you some knowledge. What was the knowledge? I said that we have sisters that do wear dresses in the medical field every day. Hold on. We have somebody that come in with one of these you start criticizing. No, it's not criticizing. It's correcting. No, it's about sharing. If you tell me something I don't know, and that's not you. Now, if I don't know it, and I'm not so when you said we got this, I said, oh, but I haven't seen that. We saw pants. But I'm giving you an example. So guess what? No, no. I have quite the following. Listen to this. No, we understand that, but guess what, sis? Many are called, but few are chosen. Y'all are not looking for many, sis. Reach this out. It's a good thing. Just to say, shoot. 817. A gentle man will not be reproved. But find an excuse. But do what? But find an excuse. But find an excuse. According to his will. According to his or her will. Hit with that war, war during my 51 and 20. Battle axes, God's weapons of war. We don't battle axes, God's weapons of war. We on the corner and we ready for war. And I know you ain't seen nothing like this before. We the battle axes, God's weapons of war. We the battle axes, God's weapons of war.